In this demonstration, you'll learn how to set up and solve a fluid structure interaction simulation. The fluid and structural simulations are solved separately, and fluid force data is transferred from the solved fluid simulation into the structural simulation using the physics coupling interface. I'll use the fluid structure interaction template. The geometry I'm importing represents the structure and the flow volume. I'll allow configuration and I'll import the geometry file. Two simulation processes are created, and the template has renamed the physics tasks to flow and structural. Let's skip some of the steps to focus on the fluid structure interaction. First, I'll solve the fluid simulation. I've already suppressed the structural body and meshed the flow body. In the flow physics task, I've set the boundary conditions. There's an inlet, outlet, symmetry plane, and walls on the disc valve and the inside of the pipe. The walls that I define here in the fluid region will be able to send force to the structural simulation. I'll see these walls later in the physics coupling interface. Now, I'll solve the fluid simulation. Reviewing the fluid results, I can see that the contour of the pressure shows a difference upstream and downstream of the disc valve. When I solve the structural simulation, I expect the pipe to bulge out here where there's more pressure and to taper in a bit in this part of the pipe. Now, I'll solve the structural simulation. The structural simulation will incorporate fluid structure interaction because I'll transfer the fluid force data into this simulation. I've already suppressed the flow body and meshed the structural body. In the structural physics task, I've set the supports. These two surfaces are fixed in place and the model is constrained along the symmetry planes. I transfer fluid force data into this structural simulation with the physics coupling interface. I could transfer the force onto the walls of the disc valve and the inside of the pipe. But for this demonstration, I'll transfer the fluid force data onto only the inside walls of the pipe. The source region is the fluid simulation that we just solved. The tasks are connected so the fluid data is available to the structural simulation. All of the walls on the fluid simulation are automatically selected. In this dropdown, I can refine the source location. Here are the two walls I defined in the fluid region. I'll select the surfaces on the inside of the pipe for the source location. Now, I'll solve the structural simulation. During the solution, mapping occurs on the physics coupling interface to transfer the force data. I'll check the physics coupling transcript to review the mapping diagnostics. Remember that the source side is the fluid region and the target side is the structural region. Both sides have surfaces on the inside wall of the pipe and they are both 100% mapped. The sums on the source and target are almost identical, and because the mapping is 100%, this means that the mapping of the data from the source to the target is accurate. Now, I'll go through some of the results. The displacement shows where the pipe is bending due to the fluid force. The deformation is exaggerated. The actual displacement of the pipe is quite small. We see the expected bulge and tapering at the end of the pipe, with the largest displacement near the disc valve. Looking at the equivalent stress, the largest stress is also near the disc valve. I have now successfully completed a fluid structure interaction simulation. I've solved the fluid simulation and I've solved the structural simulation using the physics coupling interface to transfer fluid force onto the inside walls of the pipe. The last thing I'm going to do is compare two simulations that I've done in AIM. They're both identical except for the method I've used to transfer fluid force onto the inside of the pipe. In this simulation, fluid force was transferred to the inside of the pipe using the physics coupling interface. In this simulation, instead of using the physics coupling interface, I've used the average fluid pressure as a boundary condition on the inside of the pipe. When I use the physics coupling interface to transfer the fluid force data, the largest stresses are here, around the disc valve. When I look at the quantitative results, the maximum stress is almost four times larger in the simulation using the physics coupling interface. When the average pressure is used, the stress is much more symmetrical along the axis of the pipe because the average fluid pressure was applied evenly along the pipe's walls. The detail of the fluid data distribution was lost. Using an average value can work for some applications where the original data distribution is fairly even, but in this case, it's clear that the physics coupling interface is needed to map the data from the fluid surfaces onto the structural surfaces and so create an accurate simulation. 
This concludes this demonstration of a fluid structure interaction using the physics coupling interface to transfer fluid force into a structural simulation.